Hi guys, uh, this is Dr. Marwa from Prepladder and it gives me immense pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Sai Kumar. He has secured an astounding rank 3 in the recently concluded NEET PG 2024. But yes, congratulations doctor and he's from Thank Cape you. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Uh, Thank once you. the news settled in, I mean how do you feel at the moment? Uh, it's like mixed emotions sir. <laughs> Feeling good sir. I was confident about it, sir. So, feeling good. So, I would like to inform everybody that uh, Dr. Sai Kumar had uh, sat for session uh, two, the evening session, yes. which was uh, being uh, saying, which was being touted as the more difficult one. And kudos to you that you were able to pull it off and get a an great rank. So, you, uh, do let me know about your experiences about this roller coaster that you've been through. Yeah, it was like full of anxiety sir a lot of uncertainties in the journey sir so Absolutely. like i did uh, kept studying sir uh, like thinking not to think about uh, like postponements and other things so i kept consistent sir. so doing all the things doing pyqs pits i did uh, keep consistency in my studies not to think about other things so, Doc, when did you uh, take prep ladder? Uh, when did you join prep ladder? And uh, from which subject did you start your preparation? Uh, I started in third year, sir. Uh, I started with medicine, sir. Medicine and surgery. I did my final year subjects in third year, sir. Uh, apart from third year subject. So, I continued it in final year, sir. Along with solving the QBank. So, that's fine. So for, for doing medicine and since you said medicine, you started with medicine. In fact, yes, that's so medicine it. was like more like, you know, it, it, like it needs like two years also. So I started doing it in third year, started from cardiology, neurology, and then doing all this uh, medicine subspecialties and, and I finished the course. Like it was basic. So like once you study medicine, like you won't forget it. You know, yeah. did it first starting. Like it covers most of the subjects. So how much time did it take you to finish that? Uh, it was like, not like I didn't keep anything specific, sir. I was doing it in the bits. I divided into parts and then I did it like different parts okay. and kept revising those notes. And So, Doc, like which is one that game changer that you think, uh, you know, changed everything in your outlook, in your perspective since you had sat for INISET as well and you had got a double digit rank. So to accelerate from there, like you got rank 89 in INISET and then to accelerate into a single digit rank. I mean, what was that nitro boost? What was that booster that you used to be able to, you know, uh, go ahead from uh, ahead of your competition? Uh, in any side 89, I had not like revised my first reads. I had not finished my first read. Like I was um, not touched upon many subjects. Uh, then after any side, I got some time to touch upon subjects and like do some rapid revision. And I did revision, sir. So I think that was the boost, sir. Apart from that, I kept on doing PYQs and PYTs, sir. Like throughout my preparation journey, they were constant doing those topics again and again. Uh, Doc, I, I just jumped up by a couple of years, but yeah, I would, because you mentioned rapid revision. So just if you can give an approximate uh, uh, time frame, I mean, how much time should, did you invest in doing rapid revision since you mentioned it just uh, a couple of minutes back? I was do, in internships. I did it like it takes about like four or five months we can do it. Sir. Like if you had prepared sir, from your notes, like you know, four or five months is enough, sir. Like up, first read, it will take time, sir. Then like second read, we can finish it uh, in one or two months. Like your second revision. First so, read takes time. So if I summarize, it would be like, you know, you did medicine surgery right in third year. So the main yes. lessons are over. And then subsequently in your internship, you were using rapid revision. Yes, yes. Uh, rapid revision. Okay. So while you were using a Q bank, uh, any yes. special feature that you would like to mention? Uh, Q bank was like clinically oriented, sir. Like need uh, now shifted to clinically oriented question. Like long clinical stems were a lot of long clinical stem questions were there, sir. Like clinical, uh, it was clinical oriented and it has uh, like thorough explanations. It has good explanations and it has like other options. It mentions about all the options, sir. So it was good, sir. Like long stem, short stem, mixed, uh, like mixed back Q bank it was. Okay, so if you have to, like, you, you could toggle between those long-stem questions yes. and then change it. one yes. line and back. Yes. 
how useful or how useless would that feature be uh, in your opinion it is useful in giving gts i felt so like in gts like if like we can like we can like after while after solving the gt while revising some questions we can go it faster like some topics we feel confident we just need to like make it short stem and just revise it while revising the gts it usually takes time so so that it helps so Okay, and so we like, have also some clinical stems they are attached sir, to the question that were also helpful. Sir. So, like when you gave this preplanar GTs, how yes, close sir. or how distant were they? It was that? most realistic, sir. Like I had given the INICT champions test and NEET PG. In INICT also had about rank eighty nine, sir. Almost like eighties I had rank in champions test, sir. So in real also had some almost like the same rank. NEET PG I gave it, sir. It was also about below hundred, sir. below 100 uh, it was realistic sir the questions were not too tough not too easy they were like real pattern was uh, like it was okay sir moderate sir. i would say moderate pattern not yeah. too tough not too easy it was good sir. i mean if you get the taste of the battle in advance only it, it gives you that uh, yes, it was yes it was good so doc like uh, when you have to do these questions uh, how many questions were you doing on a daily basis was a fixed number or were, were you just going spontaneously with the flow uh, no sir i didn't have any fixed numbers i would just go spontaneously sir. like uh, pyqs i would do spontaneous like i didn't keep any numbers i used to do i but i kept on solving sir like uh, uh, 50% i used to read sir then as the uh, preparation progressed i kept on more solving sir less reading more solving so solving will become more part of preparation so it becomes second nature then being able to exclude those options especially yes, like mcq skills will improve so i kept on more solving so instead of reading i reduce sir, as the preparation progressed okay so what would be your advice to the future aspirants about how to go ahead preparing for the current pattern of the exam uh pattern of the exam i think sir it is more of a clinical scenario sir mm-hmm. uh, um still pyqs were important sir pyqs and previous year topics still played a major role sir about 150 questions i would say then that edge comes from preparation sir staying consistent uh, like doing like in depth uh, we have to know some things sir the like core areas like medicine surgery they were like main subjects are like they form your basics so we have to focus on them sir. apart from minor subjects okay so how did you keep yourself motivated uh, <laughs> i studied sir i like i was i loved studying sir so i loved my preparation it was like things no it made me happy sir i was not like bored of it so that was the thing uh, i loved uh, studying so so it helped me motivated sir. uh you are a man of few words but yes, great thoughts i mean i must admit the fact that you made it very light of the situation but i can really understand the amount of hard work and the dedication and the effort that you have put into all this because you making it sound so easy and so simple that you started with medicine in third year and then you did surgery and then you took the bull by the horns and it's it's looking like a very a planned and like a very cool approach but then at the same time i must admit that you have put a lot of dedication yes. so uh, that's Thank that's you, great uh, any you, spe- any special feature of prep ladder app that you would like to mention uh, i love notes sir there it had some images sir like uh, we read a lot of things but we don't focus on images sir like solving uh, in neat paper i felt so images were very important like we read about the clinical scenario but we miss the images sir so image they give the images sir so seeing images and uh, notes were concise sir replied on notes were concise and few bank i kept on solving so it was good okay so yes. like uh, what what is the disadvantage with a big big uh, you know bulky notes versus a short notes i mean apart from the time factor like uh, i think what is more important is what i want to ask is it the strike rate that matters should should we Uh, should we increase the bulk so that we can increase the strike rate or should it be laser precise i mean what's your take on this uh, so notes should not be bulky sir uh, in strike rate doesn't matter sir like when uh, only those pyqs and pyts they are making it more sir mm-hmm. short notes make it like the uh, core words sir. like we can pick those uh, words sir. like in making instead of making it big we can't recollect it sir revision it becomes too difficult sir with bulky notes 
uh, we are uh, we have to minimize the notes minimizing the notes helps to revise revising would be easy i felt sir with uh, did you make any handwritten self notes as only or you relied only on prep ladders uh, i made some small notes i made like i made it as one word at notes like uh, it should not be bulky just single word at notes sir. so i made it as concise as possible sir Okay. Yes, instead of bulky handwritten notes, I made it uh, like simple, like buzzwords. I would say, so buzzwords. I kept on writing some buzzwords and mnemonics that were my notes. Sir. And uh, though it might sound a little cliche, any any you would think impact of prep ladder faculty of with respect to your preparation? Um, you sir, um, I watched medicine videos, so it formed the basics of mine. Medicine is a very important subject. So students neglect it a lot. Uh, they focus more on minor subject. We can skip medicine, but uh, medicine, like it is, covers like most of the like it had or it always has some weightage. So medicine was my strong sir. Like always, it used to be my top subject. So medicine, I liked. Okay. Yes. And, and surgery also, I watched. So surgery was also nice. That is. Especially in surgery, sometimes when they put up those image-based questions, yes, like yes, sir. Yes, yeah, so surgery more like emergency scenarios uh, that like I watched them sir. So images, images. There are a lot of images sir, in surgery. So those are good. So what would be your future plans after climbing the mountain and being able to reach to the top and you know putting your impression that okay this is here I am Dr. Saikaran and this is what I have done Dr. Saikumar this is what I have done. So <laughs> what would be yeah. Plans. Yeah, I, like I always wanted like radio radio was my branch sir. like I wanted to be a radiologist so I didn't take any seat in INI CT sir like radio was not available at 89 so I decided to give it one more try for radiology so it was always decided sir to be a radiologist to do radiology so radio I choose sir. Wow. Absolutely. Yes. It requires lots of guts. So uh, is it like did not uh, family members pressurize you? You got an awesome rank in any set and you need to, you know, just take whatever is available. Yes, sir, you... They told me, sir, to take whatever, but I believed in my preparation, sir. Like I had prepared for three years, like I have got some two digit two rank and I can do it again, I felt, sir. This yes. time, like I got more time, I can do it again, I felt, sir. So I decided to not take it and give Nita one more try. Sir. Okay. And did you also go through that change of centers? That uh, yes, uh, yes, uh, lived a lot of confusion I had regarding centers. So they have placed me some 500 kilometers away. Then they revised it to my hometown. So it was quite uh, confusing, sir. Uh, a lot of uh, this uh, confusion regarding centers, exam postponements. Like all students, I also felt that. Yeah, yeah. everybody went through it. Everybody I think went it's the it. most biggest roller coaster, right? That we yes. have. <laughs> Seen in the entire uh, so many years of uh, that I have been teaching and I've myself gone through the grind. It's yes. like never has it ever happened that an exam of that reputation be cancelled at the last moment. And I can yes. understand. <clears throat> uh, I mean, you are all like you guys are like Formula One cars. You no, know? you are all gunning and all your engines are firing, and you are saying, "Okay, I'm going to perform." And then suddenly they say the race is cancelled. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I took it some positive side, sir. Like I got more time. That was also things, sir. But uh, it feels a lot of uh, pressure, sir. But uh, I took it positive, sir. I got more time. I can study money more. So it was mixed, sir. First one, okay. you know. Yes. So I know your inbox would be full with your juniors asking you for advice. But then yes. one, one shout out that you would like to specially tell your uh, juniors about how to use the preplied wrap in in a in a short way i mean how how should they be approaching the subjects which to be taken first which to be taken subsequently yes first time like if they are in third year i tell them to do final year subjects like go with medicine obg like they are most important subjects like they form the core of any subject medicine obg surgery then finally i do a final year uh, other final year subjects like my orthopedics pediatrics internship they can utilize for minor subjects sir, like psychiatry they also have a lot of data sir. so internship can be used for minor subjects like they should not worry about minor subjects in final year mm -hmm. in minor subject can be done in internships sir. like they can do it minor subjects and then revise and keep solving sir. solving mcq skills is uh, different from reading sir. so i will tell them to keep solving q bank keep solving as much as mcq as possible and uh, just keep solving sir. 
this question that I'm asking you uh, may not be very appropriate because you have got a super awesome rank. But then yes. any subject that you hate, I, I know you're good at all, but anyone yes. that you hate. PSM was my, like, uh, like it was low scoring, sir. But like we are need to focus the last one month, I focused on my weak subjects, sir, like which I missed during INICT. What I analyzed my mistakes, sir, what was what went wrong in INICT. So I focused on my weak subjects sir. in GTs uh, where I was doing mistakes. I focused on my weak subjects. Sir. Okay, I think uh, the my my word choice was wrong. It was not hating. It was like which yes. is the weaker one, yes. and then you were able to pull it off. Yes, last I did uh, focus on my weaker subjects. Okay, so uh, uh, coming to the last question, like la last one month when you were using rapid revision before that yes. exam, yes. which were like those high yield topics or like high yield. Uh, uh, subjects that you would tell, like to tell the future aspirants to focus upon, especially if they are like yes. using rapid revision, that yes. this is something that must be done. This is something that has to be read. Yes, sir. In, like if last one month, minor subjects have a very high yield weight, so like psychiatry, FMT, they are like not minor, they are not major, like they are they have become middle subjects. So like So in last one month, they need to focus on psychiatry, FMT, dermatology, ortho, minor subjects they help you a lot sir, to score. Uh, they are very high scoring. So last few months, they can focus on minor subjects sir, and improve on minor subjects. Major focus, they can just do PYQs. Previous year topics, I would say. They can do topics. Sir. So Doc, if I summarize your approach, when you were using the app, you did the bigger subjects initially. You yes. did not force yourself into any targets that okay, I have to finish the subject in this particular time frame. And once you were done with the bigger ones, then you started focusing on the smaller ones. And mm -hmm. in your internship, you used rapid revision and got these astounding results. Yes. And talk to your dedication. So uh, any final dedications that you would like to mention, parents? Yes, yes uh, my parents, they, talk, uh, they were constant support in my journey. So my parents and my sisters, uh, my sisters were uh, as more like better <laughs> They were uh, like telling me what to do and how to like family, family, like, uh, like release lot of lot support they gave us. So my parents and families and my teachers, college, like they were, yes, my teachers and my parents. Great. Doctor. And all the, yes. And all the faculties I learned from them. For them so just, no, that is so nice, Doc. So uh, yeah. it was really a pleasure talking to you. It yes, was really nice uh, knowing uh, so many words of wisdom from you and uh, great. I mean, you keep on guiding your juniors as well, just like you did in this interview. And uh, yep, uh, it was Thank really you. fantastic. And I wish you the very best on behalf Thank of you. not only Preplander, but everybody else who would be listening to this. Uh, yes. You have got a rank. Congratulations. If you were not able to get an optimal result, uh, Keep the focus on, as I say, keep hammering every time and you would be able to get to your final destinations. It's just that we need to persist. We need to keep ourselves motivated and keep on pushing ourselves so that we can achieve to that uh, achieve that final goal. It's not the end, you know, it, getting yes. a, is like only a number, right? Yes. But at the same time, like that gives you that boost. So fine, we need to create targets for ourselves so that we are able to push ourselves on a daily basis. And uh, Dr. Sai Kumar, I mean, he is that one example where he has done it slow, steady, consistent, hard work. And I mean, just look at the awesome result that we have. So uh, we can expect a big, big smile from you, Doc. And we Thank can, <laughs> and we can uh, finally end this discussion. Thank you. Thank you. Super. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes, sir. Thanks, sir. Bye-bye. God bless you. Thanks, sir.